People have been talking a lot about this. People have been talking a lot about this. This is probably the number one thing that has been in the comment section of every video, TikTok, Instagram reel, whatever I've posted about the Toyota Tacoma, this has been the number one thing people are talking about. What's going on everyone? I am in Malibu, California with Toyota and you can see behind me a number of Toyota Tacomas. We've got the Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter and the TRD Pro. Now, unfortunately, we're not gonna be driving those around. This is a first drive event for the Toyota Tacoma, normal iForce engines only. So anything that has the iForce Max is not on the list, but they did bring them out for us to look at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look kind of around them inside and out. And you guys let me know in the comments, which one do you think is kind of cooler, the Trail Hunter or the TRD Pro? I'm having a hard time making up my mind, although I do think I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Trail Hunter at the moment, but I'd love to hear from you. Now, from a styling standpoint, I think this is kind of a wash. I mean, look at how good the TRD Pro looks in Terra. It looks fantastic in Terra. I was just at Destination Outdoor and we had a number of Toyota SUVs and trucks in Terra. We had the Sequoia and the Tundra in Terra and I was like, yeah, they look all right. That's kind of a cool color. But the TRD Pro Tacoma, oof, that looks really good in Terra. Terra. So right off the bat, this is a hard decision because that looks fantastic in Terra with the black accents, but that's in bronze oxide with the bronze wheels, which I think looks phenomenal. Okay, so hold up. What just happened? A second ago, I was with Toyota out in Malibu with the brand new TRD Pro Tacoma and the Tacoma Trail Hunter. And now I'm at the LA Auto Show as if by magic. Well, I'll tell you what happened. What happened is Mother Nature decided to say big nope. She decided to rain all over us in the middle of the Toyota Tacoma sort of first drive event. Now, some of the footage I was able to salvage using a mixture of amazing iPhone and GoPro ingenuity and know-how. Basically, I just took my iPhone and GoPro because they're water resistant. But I still wanted to provide you guys with some of this walk around footage of the TRD Pro and the Trail Hunter and sort of narrate it from, here's a Tacoma Limited behind me at the LA Auto Show while people are kind of going through the motions on media day practicing their rehearsals, that's what they're doing. So if you look at the TRD Pro, one of the cool things about the TRD Pro is you've got those revised Fox QS3 shocks, okay? And they had all this stuff laid out for us on a table for us to look at. And we got to look inside the TRD Pro and around the TRD Pro. So here's some shots of the interior of the TRD Pro, including those isodynamic seats. That's one of the coolest things about it. Now, unfortunately, the TRD Pro is not here at the LA Auto Show. So all the footage that you're seeing of the TRD Pro right now is from that Tacoma First Drive event. But the isodynamic seats are super cool and super comfortable. Unfortunately, I, it started raining right when I was gonna get in it and kinda bounce up and down a little bit, all 230 pounds of me, just to see if I noticed a, a difference in the isodynamic seats. So I cannot report on any kind of actual difference in the isodynamic seats, but they are super cool looking and, uh, you know, I imagine more comfortable than regular. Now. One of the things that you would want to know about is the Trail Hunter. A lot of people haven't seen inside the Trail Hunter, and these are some shots of the interior of the Trail Hunter. And so we got to walk around, we got to look around it underneath it, we got to look at all the old man emu suspension parts, the ARB add-ons, like the Trail Hunter is super cool. And I, I really wanted you guys to see these from a different angle, kind of up close and personal, because nobody's really gotten to look inside of these vehicles yet. And very few people have gotten to kind of be around them as much as we were at the Tacoma First Drive event. So definitely a cool opportunity. Now, one other thing that I wanted to bring you guys is People have been talking a lot about this. People have been talking a lot about this. This is probably the number one thing that has been in the comments section of every video, TikTok, Instagram reel, whatever I've posted about the Toyota Tacoma, this has been the number one thing people are talking about. So of course that is the turbo hybrid powertrains, okay? People have been talking about the longevity, durability, and reliability of the turbo hybrid 
powertrain. So what I thought I would do is I would talk to the chief engineer of the Toyota Tacoma, as well as the chief powertrain engineer of the Toyota Tacoma and have them explain why you as the consumer can trust these turbocharged and hybrid power plants, okay? I've been arguing with people in the comments saying, look, Toyota stakes its reputation, reputation, a hard won reputation on reliability. And let's be honest about one thing, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in close for this, okay? Let's be honest about one thing. If you are a brand of any kind and your reputation is reliability and durability, that is the single hardest thing to earn in consumers' minds. Why would Toyota of all brands risk that reputation on a less than ideal power plant. And so I asked them extensively, what sets this apart? What makes this better than the competition? And what makes it up to Toyota's standards? And here's what they had to say. We had a lot of great questions and people are asking us about, you know, a little bit, there's some concerns about, you know, will the new L4 Turbo, uh, does it have the reliability, the durability? Of course, we test these engines um, to the same standards um, that we have for all of our engines. Um, specifically, of course, the L4, uh, many of you may have said, of course, I've seen this motor before. We've got this in the Grand Highlander. We've got this in some of our passenger car. But really, um, about 54% uh, of that motor is common. Um, the rest of it is very bespoke to the actual truck application. And we think that's important to note because we know the, the motors, uh, specifically the engines and the, and the turbos that we're using in our trucks um, have a very different duty cycle than what we might have in passenger car. We spend a lot of off time, uh, a lot of road, a lot of time off road. Uh, we're lugging, we're at low RPM. Uh, we're also towing a lot, right? Which means we've got a lot, a lot greater duty cycle on these motors. And as a result, all of these components get tested to our, uh, what I would tell you is our commercial grade. It's about 50% greater duty cycle. Now, these things will be tested on dyno in the real world. Um, and then let's just, we'll talk, for example, just about the, uh, for example, the L4 Turbo. And one of the big things is cooling, right? We all know that um, heat is the enemy. And we, we've taken uh, measures uh, certainly to remediate that. We talk about the, uh, the water cooler. Uh, and the inlet is about three inches. We would typically spec that on a V8 motor. But again, recognizing uh, the duty cycle and the temperatures that this truck is gonna be subjected to, we're going ahead and we're increasing that flow to make sure that we keep the block cool. Um, overall, uh, a lot goes into uh, the testing. Um, we've used turbos and small displacement engines all over the world for, for years. Uh, and we're seeing them become increasingly more, um, I'll say, available within North America, namely to improve our emissions. But we get a chance to take these motors, pair them with great eight-speed transmissions where we have a really good uh, gear ratio and pitch between the gears so that we can make sure that we get really good drive force. Uh, but we're also um, delivering better fuel economy, better emissions performance, and of course, increased torque and, and power. This is our four-cylinder turbocharged engine, our, our iForce here. Um, we have our turbocharger here. We spent a lot of time to optimize this turbocharger for truck application. As Sheldon mentioned, we wanted this engine to really cover, um, it, 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 it stands for our, our commercial durability. So that means it's 1.5 times more durable than our passenger car engines. We do a lot of testing on here, specifically on the turbocharger itself. We designed it and optimized it. The compressor and the turbine were very optimized for airflow. Um, and so we spent a lot of time testing this thing so that we get the torque really at the low RPMs. We, we want, we get max torque at 1700 RPM and that way we can really get torque early in, and when we control the transmission gear ratios to hold you in that sweet spot. So your normal everyday driving around 1500, 1700 RPM and you step in the gas pedal, you're, you're right there at max torque immediately. On this four cylinder turbocharged engine, when you get the TRD off-road uh, package and anything above that. We do a lot of cool um, add-ons to the engine. One of the examples here uh, I'll point to is the belt tensioner. Uh, TRD Off-Road gets um, a sealed belt tensioner. This one is not sealed here, but we get a sealed belt, belt tensioner that, that keeps out the mud and the water and everything when you're off-roading. Uh, we also add in a transmission co cooler, a transmission cooler to, to the TRD Off-Road. Uh, and we spec up the rear diff as well. So the rear diff in the TRD off-road is actually the same differential of the Tundra, 9.5 inch uh, rear ring uh, differential. So you get beefier, better hardware on the powertrain uh, with the TRD off-road as well. One of the other things that we did with this four cylinder turbocharged engine here, we really spent time about cooling, right? Cooling is really important for this thing. And when these trucks are off-roading, sometimes you know the, the oil flow is a little bit difficult when the vehicle is pitched left or side to side or, or front to back. And so we spent a lot of time designing the oil pan, the sump on the bottom of this thing. We actually test this thing on a bench at an angle. 
So we'll put it at an angle and run it at full load and make sure that the cooling um, is, is, is working sufficiently and we're able to keep this engine cool uh, even on at an angle on a bench. And then we take that to the vehicle and we take these things off road and we actually you know test them and make sure as we're on that angle, we're still keeping a vehicle application, still keeping the powertrain cool. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this kind of preview of the Trail Hunter TRD Pro as well as some of the engineering that goes into the Tacoma in general. Keep in mind that what you heard from the engineers, that is baked into every Toyota Tacoma. So whether you get the Toyota Tacoma SR or whether you get the freaking TRD Pro or the Trail Hunter, all of the Tacomas have been sort of designed and developed and engineered with this longevity and durability in mind. So you can rest assured that your tried, trusty, and true Toyota Tacoma will perform just as they always have in the past. And that reputation, that hard-won reputation, is still something that you can depend on every day for 10 years, 20 years, whatever it is, okay? Let me know if you found that valuable. Um, I thought it was kind of a good add-on since that's been requested. I know, you know, channels like Savage Geese and stuff, they dive into those engineering talks all the time, which is what makes their channel fantastic. I don't normally do that because we're more of a family channel, but I just saw a need for it here because the comments have been just explosive with people asking about these powertrains. So let me know if you found that helpful and if that sways your decision, my decision is is I think I need that Trail Hunter and bronze oxide in my life like ASAP, all right? Like tomorrow, I need that thing in my life. That thing looks so cool. As cool as I thought the TRD Pro looked in Terra, I think that that Trail Hunter and bronze oxide, that might be the move, all right? It is a fantastic looking pickup truck. So let me know what you thought. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff, of course. I'll see you soon.